Hi everyone, it's me, Alex Torres, and today I'm going to be showing you how to access uh, auto mode or audio mode on your Magic Sing MT15K. So I did a video about this on yet uh, yesterday on the ED8000, but now those models have been discontinued at like 9,000, 7,000. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it on your MT15K. So this is a new one. Um, I do not have any song chips here, just an English version, and the receiving pack for the uh, sub mic, so, or the duet mic. So go ahead and turn it on like normal, and make sure it does turn on. And then here we have different modes on the MT15K. It has how to sing game and karaoke like normal. So go ahead and select karaoke. So there you go. Here are all the songs. So it goes ahead and plays them. Those are English. And so now how to access auto mode. Auto mode. You're going to want to turn it off. And then here you see this green button. You are going to hold that button. Kind of like what I did with the ED8000. You're going to hold that button. While you're doing that, you're going to flip the switch up. And here, it's not going to give you a confirmation that you're in auto text. Up here, it does. So there you go. It does not show here on the mic, but on the TV it does. There you go. So this one looks different. Uh, here, as you can see, since this one's a new one, it looks different. FM, it has none. This, um, the other ones, it had a setup for FM, which you can use it like wireless. You change your station. Here, it looks the same. Sub mic is on, it says right here. So let's go ahead and turn on our sub mic. This is not the one from this one, but let's go ahead and test it out. Hello? So yeah, that yeah, is working. We'll go ahead and back. Here, it tells you the songs that it has right here. And those are ED0, I'm not sure what that is, but those are all the songs from 00001 all the way to 55101. And that's including my song chip with the English songs. Here are the pictures, 89 cut and then the font. The font is different on this one than the ED8000, so all of them are different because the other one's older. Record, I think you can record here. Oh, it does. Hello? Hello? It gives you more time. Here, um, that's the font. So yeah, now you might be thinking, well, actually, not yet. I won't gonna get, I'm not going to get out of it yet, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it back off. I'm going to take out the song chip and see how many songs it says it has without the song chip. So here's the song chip. Let's go ahead and there's no more chips in here. Close it up and... To confirm, I'm going to confirm that it does not show up the songs. I'm going to turn it up, turn it on like normal right now. Power on. I have not gone to auto test because it does not say up here. I'm going to select karaoke. So now you are in karaoke. Those are all the built-in songs. So yeah, it does not have no more uh, chips. So now to access auto mode like I did, you're gonna hold down the green button and turn it on at the same time. No confirmation here. You're gonna look on your TV. not tell you on the screen you have to look, look at, at the TV. So there you go. We are so you can see when you talk, you could also test, test out the score. Because if look, if I'm talking all the way back here, you, you can, can see that it does not turn on score. You, you have, have to talk, talk louder. So that means that it's when you're singing like this, this it, it will count your score. If you're like, like this quietly, it's not gonna it count your score. Oh, for key, it says press. So, if you want to test out the keys, you could push one. So you can see that works here on a little screen. It says one as well. So you can go ahead and play with that. 
Test out, test, test out the keys. Down, uh, play. Oops, that's recording. Uh, I guess you cannot test the play and pause. You will test the play. You will test the play and pause with the recording. As you can see, it is not recording. Recording. As you can see, it is not recording. And here it tells you it's replaying the recording. You could test down the back. Cancel. Reserve. Search. Mode button that you cannot test that one out either. Volume, pause, key, and replay. So this is what they pretty much will do at the service center, test out. So you could go ahead and test it out here. So as you can see, it is the same like when you're test, uh, when I did the 18, uh, ED8000, but here it does not have any more keys. So as you can see, it just says it has songs from 0001 all the way to 01573. But it continues counting my score, so the score is working right there. So let's go ahead and turn it on and insert our chip, and we'll give, give it a test. test. And we'll give it a test. Of course, of course you need to make sure when you do insert the chips, make sure your magic sink is turned off. It does not matter what model it is, make sure it is off. So now you'll go ahead and get your chip. This is the magic sink Extreme Premium 1 collection, collection 1. I'll just go ahead and put it up here like it was. So we'll go ahead and insert it, making sure it is the correct way. We're going to go ahead and insert it. There we go. It is inserted. Put it on our back cover. And then we're going to turn it on like we did. Hold down the green button and the on button. The confirmation on the TV. Reminder, it does not tell you right here on the screen. You have to look at the TV. So that's the model, a reversion. Okay, so there you go. Right here that I was talking about on the ED8000, I did not play any songs yesterday, or whenever you're watching that video, but here, this is the song that I showed on the beginning of the video. 54992. That's the code for the chip. It did not have that code right now that it took out the chip because it's looking for the chip and it does not have it in built in. So as you can see, there you go. Those all are the ET, I guess, are the chip, the, the chips. And now it goes from 55101. It goes all the way to there. As you can see, it's still counting the score. So now to get rid of it. Uh, you are going to turn it off. You do not have to worry about mess or home. That is what Magic Sing does when you buy it. They should do that. Like on the ET8000 yesterday, it did say what I had, where I bought it. And this one it doesn't, but it's okay. You don't have to worry about that. Magic Sing just knows if you take it to the repair shop, and then they'll be like, oh, okay. Now I know where you bought it. I can check what happened. But don't worry about that, the font, of course, and it has 89 cup pictures. So let's go ahead and turn it off and test out the songs. I'll just turn it on like normal, without pushing the green button. And it's not going to say auto-test anymore. So let's go ahead and test out, test out a song. So I'll just enter the random number. Oh, blink space by Taylor Swift. So you can see it's back to normal. Let's go ahead. The font is there, so that is working. As you can see, all the keys are working. The pictures are playing in the background. Let's go ahead and test out the score. is back to normal use on how you should have purchased it when it comes it's back to normal use so yeah it is it is working we're going to test out the sub mic as well so let's go ahead and exit here we'll go ahead and configure the sub mic because when you test when i went to test it you saw that it said sub mic on but here since it's back to normal use you need to turn it on yourself so let's go ahead and push on there it's on. I'm going to go ahead and lower the volume on the sub mic. 
Hello? Hello? So, so this, this is working. working. It is working because if you do have a magic scene and you want the sub mic, you need to put the receiver. See it's working. Turn it back off. Oh, and that's a picture from the EG8000 I did yesterday. But as you can see, it is back to normal use. The numbers are there. That's the chip. The chip is reading, or the, ma the microphone is reading the chip. The font is there, and the pictures, and the score is working in the background. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how you could do auto test on the new Magic Sings. I know there's new ones on that are wireless. does no longer have a cable. I don't think auto test is supportable on that, but it should have worked on these, the ones out here. So yeah, there you go. It works. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos, more helpful videos. Thank you. Goodbye.